Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Last night I was listening to Genesis, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, and then I was listening to the early tapes of the Beatles. And I've not, <laughs> I've had this in my CD collection since 1985, because this is the year it came out, and I'm pretty sure I bought it the year it came out. So it's one of my oldest CDs. 85, 95, 05, 50, 35 years old? I'm old. Oh, I'm depressed. Anyway, um, yeah. And what I remember about the music on this is in 1969, in Canada, the, el this, the songs on this were released as the album called very together and I'm not sure it must have been one of my I'm not sure if I bought it or one of my brothers did uh, it's a long time ago I told you I'm old but when I saw the album cover I, I was thinking right away oh it's this is this was released I think um, about a month before Abbey Road and I was thinking oh it's the new Beatles album boy was I disappointed sort of uh, and, you know, just listening to this with fresh ears again, it is really good. Uh, top marks to Tony Sheridan, who the Beatles backed back in the early 60s. He is a really nice voice, uh, very, very nice vocals. And the track listing for this is a bit different than the Very Together album. The Very Together album, I think, had 12 tracks. This has 14 and this one's, I think, yeah, I think the Very Together one did also. It starts with Ain't She Sweet, with the, the very first vocal by John Lennon. And he sounds excellent. He sounds very, uh, dare I say, professional. He just, unlike, uh, some of you know the story of uh, Paul McCartney, the first time he had uh, sing that one part in Love Me Do, Love Me Do, he was nervous and all that, kind of shaking. John Lennon wasn't nervous, he just, he just sang the Burjibas out of it. That's a word I just made up. And not all of this is the Beatles, of course, so I'll show you the cover again here. And Pete Best is on this, but set him there. Oh, I guess that is Pete Best. He's kind of just half of him. And just like the Very Together, it was on the uh, Polydor label. Still in pretty good condition because like, <laughs> I've hardly ever played it. And it does come with a little booklet. Booklet. All stained. with a little right by uh, Bill Harry. So, uh, Ain't She Sweet, the first track, Ain't She Sweet by The Beatles with John Lennon on lead vocals. Excellent. Cry for a Shadow, uh, the Beatles' very first instrumental and the only time that it was credited to Harrison Lennon. And I love the song, uh, really catchy, uh, you know, a bit on the simple side, but like I said, catchy and really good guitar work. And then when the Saints go marching in, the Beatles with Tony Sheridan doing the vocals, excellent. And the, the sound quality for it being in the early 60s, it sounds excellent. And then Why, really nice vocals by Tony. It's her, I'll be back. Baby, I'm sorry, Mr. Cull. The phone was still in my coat pocket, and I was trying to look for it. And I'm filming a video. I'll pause it for a second.
I, I'm filming this part and I'm looking really bored on the video. <laughs> Hello? Hello? She hung up on me. I'm just joking. Ugh. Now I've lost my spot of what I was rambling on about. So yeah. Uh, so the Beatles do the music for Tony Sheridan for Why and If You Love Me Baby. And then also on this is songs that don't include the Beatles. What I'd say, uh, Tony Sheridan and the Beat Brothers. And they were actually, the Beatles were actually called the Beat Brothers for, I think, was it when the Saints go marching in? I, I re I'd have to reread this. I won't reread re it now. But I think when the single was released, it was they called it they called the Beatles the Beat Brothers, even though it was the Beatles. And then uh, the Beatles with Tony Sheridan on My Bonnie, which is excellent, of course, and Nobody's Child. And so that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight songs. And if the, any of this is wrong, don't blame me. Blame this booklet from 1985. It's not the Beatles on any of the tracks. <laughs> but, uh, and the drumming by Pete Best, it's nothing, I would say it's nothing remarkable, but he, it's good drumming. And... Like I said, the production is very impressive for its time. And it's in stereo. Yeah, it says the Beatles themselves, John, Paul, George, and most probably Pete Best. I think it was Pete Best. Only participated in the eight tracks mentioned. And there were two sessions. So I, I would just love uh, you Beatle fans out there, your thoughts on this, if you've heard it and what you think about it. It's nice to uh, go back in time and, you know, listen to their beginnings and they sounded pretty, pretty darn good. I also want to get at some point the, uh, I know it was on vinyl years ago, and I think I did have it, but I wasn't impressed with it. The sound quality was pretty bad, but what do you expect, you know? But I think there's a more a remastered version of the Star Club, a double CD, and I'd like to get that at some point. Be interesting. And also, the DECA years, their, uh, their failed DECA, <laughs> Uh, recordings, which I've heard, I've, I've heard all of them, of course, and then on the Beatles anthology, they included some of them. I wish they'd had included all of them, just on the Beatles anthology, but uh, I'm not sure how easily that is to get on CD, but I'll take a look. And that's about it. I also have Now this is a bootleg. The Beatles fan club Happy Christmas. I know it was released on vinyl a couple, two or three or four years ago and this is just a, a copy of it on CD and it sounds really good. It's a, it's a nice package. That's what she says. That's what she said, not says. Ruined my own joke. And uh, Yeah. So that's it. I'd love your thoughts in the comments section below. <laughs> Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.